welcome back to the vlogs and specifically the moving vlog. Today's gonna be a busy day. Today's the day we actually start packing. So it's Monday today and last night Leif and I stayed up until 1 a.m. watching Survivor. So obviously the TV in our room is disrupting my sleep. I would literally, I have not stayed up that late for so long. I really like getting to bed by like 10.30ish and waking up by like 7, 7.30. And by getting into bed, I mean like getting into bed, not necessarily asleep by 10, but like I never stay up till like 1 or 2 a.m. I haven't done that in a while. So yeah, having the TV in the room is really convenient because you can just be like, let's watch another one. And I was literally the one who was like, let's watch another episode because I was just so invested. Anyway, I slept until like 8.30 today. Did my little morning gratitude journal, my five minute journal. I'm obsessed still. I've been using it every single day and I really feel like it helps me focus on like the things I'm grateful for, the things that are going right in my life. We all need that, you know? I'll link the journal below if you guys are interested. But today is the first day of like kind of figuring out the pack situation I think we need to go and get some boxes but I also feel like and maybe I am just underestimating how long it's gonna take but I feel like there's not that much to pack because we got rid of a lot of our stuff like our big items our TV stand our bed frame um, the owners who are like the new owners who are moving into our house actually wanted to buy a lot of our furniture like our dining room table the dining room light fixture this mirror our shelving units the shelving units in the office like a lot of different stuff and because of that we don't really have to transport that much furniture at all and we're gonna be putting the stuff we're keeping into storage two of the only things we're keeping actually are our couch because I love it and I cannot get rid of this couch it's too good and I feel like it's just a universally good color that can last us so long you know kind of go with anything so that and our coffee table we're not getting rid of either and our dining room chairs because those are vintage. There's like a few major things we're keeping and then a few little things we're keeping, but honestly, we're getting rid of a lot of stuff. So as far as furniture goes, there's like not that much to move. And as far as everything else, like we just deep cleaned our entire house last month, as you guys saw if you watched my December vlogs, and we literally got rid of so much stuff. Boxes and bags and so much stuff because I only wanted to keep just necessities. So because of that, I'm like, there's really not that much to pack. Mostly the time consuming thing is going to be picking out what I need for the next month because we're gonna be staying in the Airbnb. We'll have access to the storage unit obviously, but I don't wanna have to be like going in there. I just would rather have like a suitcase, like two suitcases that I'm kind of like living out of. So it's just a matter of figuring out what I'm gonna be taking to that Airbnb as far as clothes, jewelry, skincare, beauty stuff. And then also obviously I have to bring our podcast stuff. So it's like, it's more, of like a mental thing figuring out what we're bringing to the Airbnb than it is like packing up all of our stuff. I really don't think it's gonna take that long, but I could be greatly underestimating how long it's gonna take. I don't know. I need to run to the post office right now, which I have not been to the post office in years. I'm not joking. I feel like just in today's day and age, we don't go to the post office that often. Like it's not often that I'm actually mailing stuff. And if I am, it's like UPS and Beth usually runs those little errands. Anyway, it's been a minute, but I do need to go there because I'm dropping off a little letter for my friend Zoe for her birthday. But I wanted to show you guys also that my Skims masks came in. So I posted on my Instagram that I ordered some uh, masks from Skims. I don't know when this goes up. I doubt they're even still available, honestly like, cause they got a sock so fast. So I got this tan color, it's the color clay. And then I also got this like chocolate brown color and it's the shade Coco. So yeah, I got those two and I really think I'm gonna like them. I tried on this one yesterday and it like fit really well. So I'll link them if they're available, but honestly, I would not be surprised if they're already sold out. Also another little update, I used the Lux Unfiltered Tanning Cream yesterday on my body and I used a little bit of the drops on my face uh, last night just to like give me a little bit of color for when I woke up. They're definitely like not intense at all, but that's kind of, I kind of like that. But look, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, hi lady. She wants to cuddle, apparently. Um, can you guys see that like line from the tanning stuff? Hi, what's up? <laughs> so I washed my hands with soap and water after, and I think it's like that on this hand too, kind of. Like it really comes off with soap and water, which is, I guess, good that it comes off your hands. Like doesn't make your hands orange. Okay, she wants to play. But I also feel like my hands are like completely white and there's like this stark line. So I need to learn how to blend it a little bit better. But I do love the color that it gives me. It's really nice. You guys, she's so, she's a funny, weird dog. I just went to the post office, dropped off my letter. Had to wait in line for a while. 
I tried to do the like self-service thing, but it didn't work. So I had to wait in a long line. Then I went to drop off some film to be developed. Now I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods because there's a Whole Foods right next to the film developing place. And I'm just sick of not having groceries. And I feel like even though we're leaving in like six days, I didn't wanna do a whole grocery trip because we're leaving. And I guess we can obviously take the food with us to our Airbnb, but I don't wanna like be transporting more than I have to. But we do need groceries for this week. So I'm just like making a small list of some essentials that we can take with us um okay i have bread avocados eggs green juice maybe like some salmon or something and broccoli i think i have some daily harvest meals in my freezer so use those and we'll see what else guess what i'm gonna make you guessed it an iced chai i actually haven't made one of these in a while like it's been a minute definitely over two weeks maybe i don't know so, got my chai. I actually haven't used this kind in a while. I've been like kind of just like trying out different chai recipes. So, I'm going back to the original. I haven't had this in a few months. I remember it definitely being really good though. This is the one I started out with. And then this is the best oat milk. It is the cleanest oat milk I've ever found. It's literally, here are the ingredients so clean and good and it's really creamy and delicious i don't know if you guys remember my last video i mean this was like a month ago at this point that i said that i tried their almond milk and it was like rotten like when i got it was rancid and i was super bummed they actually commented on that video malk themselves i don't know how they found this video but they commented and they were like we're so sorry that that happened like let us know if we can make it right with you blah 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 i actually need to still like email them or something but they were super nice and they said that it's possible just because their um, milks don't have any like fillers or gross ingredients basically like preservatives so this one smells good it's definitely still good you gotta shake it super well though literally it says shake super well let me ask you this like come on Cameron let me ask you this he's drinking out of his Gatorade water bottle why is it that when we go to restaurants you order chais but then Every single time I ask him if he wants one when we're home, you say no. Where's the question? Speechless. Speechless. What's, what's the question? The question is why you don't you... started out with the question and <laughs> then you started speaking to them. Why, why don't you like my chives that I make? I do like your chives. Then how come you never want one? I prefer to spend more money for tax benefits. Okay, no, that is not why. Is there something you're not telling me? Why don't you like them when I make it? Um, I'll have a few sips. I'll have a few sips. Can never figure this guy out. Okay, let me put ice in this. Ooh, she thick. She creamy. You know what I also wanna do is get like different ice trays because I'm obsessed with this account called Coffee Bay on TikTok. You guys have to go watch her videos. I think it's actually a different username. I'll put the username right here. They are so satisfying. I want to scream. The ice she uses for her different drinks is like so aesthetically pleasing and just like beautiful. I need to replicate it somehow. Okay, for creamer today, I'm doing this Nut Pods French Vanilla. I don't actually think I've had this creamer. Nut Pods actually sent me a bunch of creamers because they're angels. I was watching this TikTok and these people were saying like, why? Oh wait, I should stir this first. No, I'll do this first. Some cinnamon. It's like a common thing on TikTok where people will make their coffees or like their drinks and other people will comment and be like, ew, why did you put so much creamer? Like, why'd you put so much milk? You don't even like coffee or whatever it is. And then I saw this other TikTok and she was like, why do you guys care how people make their coffee or their drinks? Like they're the one drinking it, not you. Why do you care if they put like, you know, an extra spoonful of creamer in? And I was thinking, that's true. We need to stop being bothered by other people's little, their little daily choices that they make. It doesn't matter. If they like extra creamer, let them drink the extra creamer. That's how I feel. Sometimes I like wanna put more creamer in, but I feel like almost weird. Cause I'm like, are people gonna be like, oh, that's way too much. But let's see. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Pretty dang good. See, I think I could use more. Just a little dollop. Delicious. It's time to move. We got some boxes. We're officially ready to pack. It's actually a new day. And yesterday was kind of spent strategizing a little bit like what we're even 
gonna pack first and how we're gonna go about this whole thing. I think we should definitely split it into like rooms, like one room at a time, obviously. So we're gonna start with the guest room and these closets right here, the hall closets. I need to show you guys an OOTD really fast though because I'm wearing the comfiest thing ever. I'm wearing this Skims set and shockingly as it stands right now, it's still available. I feel like their stuff sells out so fast, but this drop, this stuff has stayed in stock. So if you guys want something, I would get it quickly just in case they sell out. But anyway, it's this like waffle hoodie that is super, super comfy. These matching joggers literally just feels like I am in pajamas. I basically am in pajamas. Super cute, super comfy. Do you guys wanna see Lady's haircut? She got groomed today and she looks so cute. She wants a belly rub, I think. Yes. You look like a little teddy bear. She's so soft and fluffy right after she gets groomed. It's so cute. Okay, so Leif put together a few empty boxes. Also, the guest bedroom, the bed frame had like Ikea drawers. So those are all my winter coats that were in there that I honestly kind of forgot existed. So I need to find a place for those. But let's get to it. The room is pretty empty. Here's the mattress. And Leif disassembled the bed frame. Sorry if you can hear Leif shredding paper in the background. We've packed up all of the guest room stuff. Boxes, bags. We are getting rid of a few more of these things, but that's just off in the corner. And then we went through all my jewelry, which was in this closet. And I kept some stuff that I'm going to take to the Airbnb. And then we just have some suitcases in there, which we will need when we are staying at the Airbnb. This room is pretty much done. We also are probably gonna get rid of this rug, so we need to like roll it up. But other than that, that was pretty much everything in this room. We're also getting rid of this chair behind me, so everything's pretty much packaged up. I also packed up all of my winter coats that were in the front room, so that's done. Our front room is kind of a nightmare right now, though. It's kind of a mess. Here's the current sitch in the front room. This is all stuff we're getting rid of. Um, there's just random stuff everywhere. We need to start taking down all the stuff on that shelf too. I don't know if we'll do that tonight or tomorrow. Beth, I have a present for you. What's this? I'm scared. Is it a real present? It's a real present. Yay! What? Okay, Close your eyes. Uh-oh, not more raw scallops. <gasps> I got it at the what? Oh Isn't my god, cute? cute! Oh my gosh, James is literally gonna be so happy about me wearing this. I got it from the, um, from Mariposa. Oh that is so cute! At the flea market. Checking it out. Look here. Oh, oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. I am about to take a bath in our massive bathtub. Um, I take a bath like once a month probably, maybe twice a month. But I think I've shown you guys on here before. It's funny because now that I'm moving, I realize all the things that like I should, not should have shown you because I show you guys like a lot of stuff. But... You just start to like not take stuff for granted, you know? When you're about to leave somewhere, you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna miss this, I'm gonna miss this. I haven't really vlogged or shown my bathtub that much, which I feel like it's a very unique bathtub. Now that I'm moving, I'm like, oh, I'm kinda gonna miss it. But also, I'm kinda not gonna miss it because it's not super practical. Let me show you guys in case you're new. So here's my current bath setup right now, which honestly looks so relaxing and amazing. I'm very excited. But basically, this is our bathtub. It is really big it is like a i think it's a japanese soaking tub i could be mistaken but i'm pretty sure that's what it is and it's like very deep i wish you guys could understand like like this is my whole arm span and i'm still not even close to touching the water uh it's really big and because of that i don't take that many baths and i actually love baths so funny because because it's so big i actually can't have like like, I always dream of taking baths with, like, one of those things that goes across the bath. You can, like, put a book on, put a candle on. 
but I can't do that because this bathtub's so big and there's nothing that would like reach that big around it. So it's funny, it has its pros and cons. It's obviously like really amazing, but it's also, I feel like it's such a waste of water. I've never filled it up like actually to the top just cause I'm like, that is such a waste of water. So I usually fill it up like a fifth of the way, a fourth of the way maybe. But anyway, I'm gonna take a few more baths before we leave, we only have a few more days. So maybe this actually might be my last bath, but it just sounded really relaxing. We've been packing all day. And I've still been working too. I like have, I had like a meeting with my management earlier today and I'm still fully working, but also trying to pack and stuff. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that this is the best stuff, this body serum and their uh, lotion. I use everything from Necessaire, like literally every product that, that they have, I think I have because I use all of it all the time. Um, but this body serum is so amazing. I've never heard of really a body serum. Like I obviously use body lotion, but I've been using a little concoction of their serum and lotion all over my body and it is so nice. It makes my skin feel just so nourished and so smooth. And I really, really like it. If you guys are interested, I actually do have a code with them. And I want to continue to work with them because they're one of my all time favorite brands. And like, it's an everyday brand for me that I just use constantly. Also, I feel like their body wash has like greatly helped my ac my like body acne, just like breakouts that I would get on my shoulders or my chest. I mean, you probably can't really tell anything, but my chest is like completely smooth and it used to have bumps all over it and like just like texture. And then my back would break out, especially if I was working out and like sweating and stuff. So anyway, their stuff is all like clean ingredients. And so it's like really helped my skin and doesn't have fragrance and stuff. So yeah, if you guys are interested in any of their products, definitely check them out. They're also like extremely beautiful, which doesn't hurt. I need to go to bed kind of early. It's only like 6 p.m. right now, um, just so I can get up and start packing because we're gonna be packing all day tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. closet and we decided to create a box for specifically for what we said stuff for just pink and blue stuff that I potentially want to shoot. We will either keep this at the Airbnb just like in a closet or maybe at the storage unit probably not because I feel like that's going to be kind of annoying to have to like go to the storage unit but I know for a fact within the time all of my stuff is in storage I'm going to want to shoot or we're going to do what we said shoots. I obviously need pink stuff for that so we're just putting literally everything pink that I own so that when the time comes it's not a nightmare trying to be like where's you know that pink shirt that I had for that or whatever but I also wanted to show you guys what I was gonna wear to Coachella one of my things I was gonna wear to Coachella last year before obviously it got canceled because of everything I, I enlisted Beth to hold my camera for me to show you guys this is what I was gonna wear one of the things I was gonna wear it has like music notes all over it such a fun vibe and the brand it's a small business it's called fashion brand company by Penelope but how fun is that? It's just a little dress. And I was saying, I was like, Chelsea and I should dress up for Coachella, even though it's not happening this year, I'm sure either, um, in like pink and blue looks and just take photos, do a little photo shoot, because I have this and I think she might have some blue stuff too that she was gonna wear. So anyway, stay tuned for our for our no Cella looks. Also, when I went to the flea market, the Silver, Silver Lake flea market last week, I showed in last week's vlog, but I didn't ever show what I got, so I wanted to show you guys. I got Beth that Lakers shirt that I gave her last night, and then I also got this fun dress for a potential what we said shoot, so I'm gonna put it in that box. Uh, it's just like a little vintage dress that has butterflies on it. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute. And then I also got this vintage tee. I got this from Mariposa, Danny's shop. And I just thought the colors were so fun and cute. So I also got that. Lady is asleep in her signature spot. Leif is doing I don't know what, but he's repping my podcast. We we stand a supportive king. And you're on my Instagram. You're a simp. I'm trying to find something I'm trying to find. Nice.
Good morning, you guys. It is our official like moving, packing, getting everything done day. This actually has taken way longer than I thought it would. I think I said earlier in the vlog, I was like, oh, I, I don't think it will take that long. Like we got rid of so much stuff. I think I definitely did underestimate how long it would take. There's just so many little items that I just didn't think about. And I'm even finding myself going through all of our stuff like over again because I'm just like, okay, if this is going to be in storage for six months, after six months, am I really going to want this makeup product? Like, I just have to get rid of so much stuff. We're donating to like women's shelters and I'm doing giveaways and stuff. So it's all going to good places, but it's just been a lot of work and I'm finding myself still trying to do my full-time work work stuff as well as move and I just realized like I should have taken the week off of work because it's really exhausting trying to do all of this and on top of it because of the weather it's just been so gloomy so rainy so I think that just makes me more tired and it's so hard to get out of bed in the mornings because it's so gloomy so all of it combined this week has been really kind of stressful today is our official like moving day and I'm actually gonna start a new vlog today and I'm gonna end this one here because this is kind of our packing vlog I will show you guys clips while I'm talking of what our house currently looks like and we are actually not hiring movers so we were going to hire movers we've done that with every move so far just because we've been moving kind of like further distances and we've had like a bunch of furniture and stuff and we don't have like a ton of family or friends here to help but we have more friends in LA now and so we do have the help that we need to move and Leif was like it will save us a lot of money we should just get a truck we can do it on our own like just have a few people help us because we did get rid of a lot of furniture so we just rented a truck and we're going to just move everything into the truck and into a storage unit that we got the storage unit and the truck that whole process was actually way more time consuming than we thought it would be as well because a lot of people are moving right now and I think that's just something we didn't consider or think about that much uh we were like oh that'll be easy it's always been easy in the past but because it's the beginning of the year and just a lot of people are moving it was a lot actually harder to secure a truck and a storage unit but we got it figured out and yeah today's gonna be a busy day i just went and picked up a chai also got one for Leif, and then I got some bagels from M Street Coffee. I have never been here, but one of my managers actually recommended it to me because I'm doing this new series on my Instagram story if you guys want to check it out where I try different chais and I like rate them. I'm going to like a bunch of different places like coffee shops in LA just telling my absolute favorite chais. I obviously love chai. You guys know I drink it all the time. And I, I've labeled myself a chai connoisseur. I have a certain type that I like. I don't like it when it's super like spicy, but I also don't like when it's overly sweet or like artificial tasting. This one was really good. You guys have to go to my Instagram, go to my highlight for all the deets. Wanted to end this vlog here so it's not like a million miles long, but next vlog will be the moving vlog. Thanks for coming and packing with me, coming along on this moving journey. We're gonna be moving into our Airbnb tomorrow. So it's an exciting time. If you guys wanna subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on all the moving stuff, finding a house eventually, uh, an Airbnb. Airbnb tour, all that stuff, uh, definitely subscribe and turn your post notifications on if you want to be notified when a new vlog comes out so you don't miss anything. This is an easier place for me to explain everything that's going on. It's a lot easier to do this than over like Instagram stories and stuff. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support and all of your kind messages, especially during this stressful time. So many of you have just commented and been like, I'm praying for you guys. I'm sending you good vibes. Like I have a good feeling that something perfect is coming for you. And that really does mean a lot to me. And it just makes me feel like, oh, I have this little like online family who really wants the best for us so thank you for being there for me i will see you guys next week goodbye